Today's weight, 172.0. I'm down 2.4 pounds because I trained my fucking balls off today. Hey fatty, this is day 16 of the 30 day bacon dry fast challenge. Tonight I'm going to talk about high performance fasting, okay? So high performance fasting. So as far as I'm concerned, there's two fucking ways you can fast. You can fast on fucking salt water, snake juice, or you can dry fast, okay? Now from a performance standpoint, Snake juice fasting is gonna be the highest performance way to fast, okay? The reason I do not promote plain water fasting is because all it does is make you piss out electrolytes and fucks you up. If you're gonna plain water fast for health, just fucking dry fast, okay? You're gonna get way better results from the dry fasting than drinking plain fucking water. Okay, so high performance fasting. A lot of people have questions about this, so I'll just use actual examples of diets that you would probably benefit you the most of eating routines. So let's say you're fucking ripped and you want super high performance in the gym. You're gonna get a better result basically eating a little more frequent. So let's say you eat one meal per day for six days out of the week and then throw a 48 hour fast in there at the end of the week, okay? And during the day when you're fasting, you fast on snake juice. That's gonna give you the best fucking performance, okay? And now that's somebody that's lean and needs a full caloric intake. So let's say they need, like me, let's say they need about 3,000 calories a day, okay? You're gonna get the best result eating a little more frequent with fucking snake juice. Now the way I'm eating right now, I'm eating about the 3,000 calories a day but I am dry fasting all day. What I'm doing right now is not optimal for performance. Okay, if I was drinking snake juice throughout the day, I would have better performance. So that boxing video I put at the start of this video, where I was hitting that bag, I got like a window in the day right now where I feel really good, but then I hit the wall. I hit the wall because I'm not drinking snake juice, and with snake juice, sodium and potassium are unlimited, okay? When I'm dry fasting, my sodium and potassium are limited. So say I ate tonight, I'm gonna be pretty good for sodium and potassium tomorrow morning, maybe even into the early afternoon. But if I'm training hard, sooner or later I'll hit a fucking wall on these electrolytes, okay? So that's why what I'm doing is not even optimal. Optimal is gonna be fucking snake juice during the day if I'm training hard. Now, let's assume you're fucking 500 pounds. Well, optimally for you, the longer you can fast, the better. Okay, the longer you can fast while still feeling good, the better. So let's talk a really long fast, like seven days. A seven day dry fast, you're going to be a bag of shit. Okay, you might get through two days feeling decent. After that, you're gonna fucking hit that wall. Okay, so that is not good for performance, but it's very good for healing. But if weight loss is your goal, snake juice fasting for seven days with way more activity, okay, because you can maintain a higher activity level on the snake juice, you're actually gonna burn more body fat than you would if you tried dry fasting laying, laying in bed for seven days. You'll get better fucking fat loss results with the snake juice, especially because it allows you to exercise when you're doing long fucking fasts. Dry fasting, no. No, dry fasting is more so for healing. I only pull it off right now during this bacon dry fast experiment because I'm only dry fasting 22 hours a day. If I was trying to eat like a, on a 48 hour schedule, tomorrow, if I wouldn't have ate tonight, tomorrow I would have been a bag of shit. Okay, I wouldn't be able to train tomorrow. So dry fasting is not good for performance. Okay, now, that being said, so let's say some other scenarios. Let's say you're trying to cut that last 10, 15 pounds. Okay, well, same fucking thing. If you're gonna exercise, snake juice. If you're gonna sit on your fucking ass, dry fast. Okay, because eventually after 
about 48 hours, you will hit the wall on your sodium and potassium when you fucking dry fast. So you're not going to get the fat loss results because you can be more active when you're fucking snake juice fasting. All right? Um, let's see some other examples. Now, if I was going to dry fast for 48, I'd have to eat a fuckload of food. Right now, I'm trying to get lean, but I have done 48 with so some dry fasting before. But those days, it was like my performance in the gym was never great that second day. Or I had to eat a fuckload. Like I'm talking a fuckload of food to have good performance and then I'm not even cutting anymore. I'm basically gaining weight. Okay, because your body can only hold so much sodium and potassium for when you're going to go for a long haul when you start dry fasting. Usually with me, I hit the wall at about 48 hours, maybe three days depending on my last meal. If I eat enough food, I might make it to the day three. Also depends if I exercise as well. But if I'm doing a long dry fast, the, you're dry fasting to heal. So snake juice fast most of the time. If you want to do a fucking dry fast to heal some ailment, like whatever it is, skin condition, hemorrhoids, heal your teeth, whatever, then just do a goddamn dry fast. Plan it out. Stay at home and fucking dry fast. Okay? If you want to go out and be active and shit, fucking fast on goddamn snake juice. It's that fucking simple. Okay? Always do a 48 hour fast once a week because it cranks up your GH and your testosterone and helps you heal. Okay? The most relaxed fasting routine, fasting routine, not talking about the food volume, is going to be one meal per day, six days out of the week with at least one 48 hour fast. Anything more relaxed than that is fucking soft ass bullshit. Okay? Now, that being said, so that would be like for, for me, I have to hit my calorie intake. I can't run a massive caloric deficit. I can't run that 3,000 calorie a week routine. I'd fucking die. But you fat people can. Okay, so now that comes up with the dry fasting. So let's say you're doing the 3,000 calorie a week routine where you're eating 500 calories six days out of the week and then you're doing one 48 hour fast. Well, now, the sodium and potassium is going to be pretty fucking hard to get in enough sodium and potassium when you're only, only eating 500 calories. How are you going to make it up? How are you going to make up like 4,000 fucking milligrams and shit of potassium, 5,000 milligrams when you're eating 500 calories of fucking food? It's going to be basically impossible. That's why you have to snake juice fast if you want to perform on a 3,000 calorie a week fucking fasting routine. Okay? The only people that are going to pull that off are people that are sitting on their fucking ass. Okay, those people might pull off dry fasting most of the day and then basically eating their 500 calorie meal because they're sitting on their ass. If you plan on being active, eating 3,000 calories a week with a fucking 15 minute eating window six days out of the week, you better get the steak juice in because you know what will happen? It will catch up to you. If you get down on sodium and potassium, like the next day you'll think, you're, you'll think you're fine, but then the next day you'll be all fucked up. And then you're playing catch up trying to get the sodium and potassium back in. All right? So it all depends on your goal. Fat people need to be active. I promote exercise. If you're going to fucking exercise, fast on snake juice. Okay? Keep the calories down. Simple as that. Keep the calories down. Tight eating windows. Try to do fucking 48 and 72 hour fasts all the time. If you are doing day-to-day -day fast, 148 per week, fucking keep the meals in a fucking 15-minute window. It shouldn't take you longer than 15 minutes to eat 500 calories. Okay? And snake juice fasting is much higher performance. Okay? Dry fasting is for healing. Snake juice is for fat loss. Both of them obviously will lose weight, and both of them you'll heal. But this one predominantly is going to be for fucking crazy aggressive fat loss because it allows you to exercise during really long fucking fasts. This one is going to be predominantly for healing because you can't fucking exercise during crazy fucking long dry fast. So you got to balance it out. You got to figure out, am I a candidate to be dry fasting if I'm going and fucking doing all this exercise or should I be drinking snake juice? Okay. The only time you should really be dry fasting, like I said, is plan it and do a real dry fast. I'm dry fasting every day right now because... I'm doing it as an experiment and to push my comfort zone. It honestly isn't optimal for fucking performance. But I know that it does have a little stronger effect on healing. Because if I was drinking that snake juice every day, I know that I fucked up my one tooth. 
and it's actually healing up. So that gives me, the dry fasting is helping me to some point, but it's, it's minimal, okay? It's minimal. I just like not having to drink water all day, okay? It's kind of cool. But honestly, today, during that video, you see me punching that bag, about 10 minutes after, I started hitting that wall and I could feel it, and if I would've had a few drinks of snake juice, I would've felt like a million bucks. So understand that. Fat loss oriented, performance oriented, exercise oriented, healing oriented. Okay, this one's for fucking healing the most. This one's for fat loss the most. So everyone have a great night and get that fat in you.